hello guys um good day to you and welcome to this tutorial series um we're going to discuss um the introduction to html and if you're taking this course as a beginner then that's fine but if you have some experience with html or some sort of web development and you like a refresher course then this course is also for you okay so um let's get right into it so what is html well HTML actually stands for Hypertext Markup Language and it's the most widely used language on the web um, essentially used to develop web pages and websites and um, HTML can also be used or is also important in the development of hybrid mobile apps okay it was created by Berners-Lee and the date is actually queryable um, the latest version is HTML5, which was, and HTML is used with, often with CSS and JavaScript. Okay, so now let's um, break down the HTML word. So hi, HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext refers to the way in which a web page is linked together. Okay. So, um, in other words, the links that are available on a web page are called, are described as hypertext. Okay, so markup language um, means that we use HTML to, in quote, mark up a text document. Okay, and this is done with tags that tell the browser how to structure a display. Um, so um, in HTML, in this um, le lesson, there are three essential components you need to know about the HTML structure. The first is tags, second element, and the third attributes. So basically tags are characters surrounded by angled brackets, okay? And basically they tell the browser how to display a content of a web page. And um, a simple example is a paragraph. A paragraph tag usually tags are um, they begin with a opening bracket a character and a closing bracket as you can see here um, in the paragraph tag okay and essentially all components of a web page are usually placed inside the tag okay and like I said there's usually an opening and a closing tag okay so um, this is just an example of a tag a simple paragraph tag and within the tag there is the word hello world okay so as um, it's important to know that browsers do not display the, H the tags the HTML tags themselves but they use them to render contents of a web page the second um, aspect of the html we're going to lay emphasis on is elements okay now an html element usually consists of an opening tag a closing tag and the content within the tags so this is considered an html element sometimes these words are actually used interchangeably tags elements they are actually used interchangeably when discussing html the last um, aspect of you know the structure of HTML is attributes. Now, basically, attributes simply provide additional information about an element, okay? Um, and usually, they are specified within the opening tag, okay? And they come in name-value pair. In other words, there is a word, an equal sign and another word that represents the value okay so this is just a simple um, example of a paragraph tag that has a tool tip and as you can see there is title and equal sign and then double quotes and basically we see the output in the browser below hello world and when you hover your mouse on hello world you see tool tip so essentially whatever we write in the value is what is going to be displayed when we hover our mouse on the text 
we'll look um, further into that in the practical um, section of this tutorial and basically uh, let's get into the practical section all right see you